Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new little box that I received from my Jika group and it is the ATV 400. It's called Extra Slim Midnight Black. Alright, so let's just get this unboxed today and also a little review on what this box can do and how fast it can go. Alright, so without wasting your time, this is the box that you can see right now. Uh, it is packaged very nicely and inside the box you can see that it comes with the MyJika ATV 400. It also comes with an IR remote. It comes with a power adapter. It also comes with an HDMI cable and also a V cable so you can connect it to the older type of TV. It also comes with quick guide and three different type of manual. One is in English, the second one is in French and also it is available in Spanish. So you can see the box itself, how it is created from side to side. So when you go on the front, there is a little power button. If you go on one side, you can see that it has a little micro SD slot that it can read up to 32 gigabyte. Right beside that is two USB 2.0 ports. And then if you flip it in the back, you do see that there is a DC connection that you can connect it to the power. Right beside that is the HDMI connection, which is 1.3. Right beside that is the the AV connection which you can connect this to an older type of TVs and right beside that is the LAN connection. Now this box is pretty unique. It is very slim, very small the way that it's created. You can see in order to breathe the ventilation part is in the bottom and also you can see that it sticks out. If you put it, it does have enough space to breathe properly. Let's just get it connected and let's see what's inside of it. So first make sure that you connect your HDMI cable and then the power. It does come with an IR remote but I will be using a gyro remote. So first thing that you're going to see is an Android logo and then it will say Android. As soon as it launches after you set up your box you will be getting this little pop-up. It will be indicating which launcher you want to use. So the first one is the MyJika launcher which you can see in the background. The second launcher that they have is just 2D launcher which is a stock launcher that comes built in inside of the all Android OS itself. So the one we will select is the MyJika and we will select always. Alright so as soon as it boots in this is the screen you're going to see. It is a very unique launcher. You can see that on a Top, we do have the multitasking screen if you have something running in the background right beside that is the Wi-Fi connection underneath of it you have the time and the date and then if you go on the top again there's a search so you can search Google in order to get you everywhere and then on the other side it does indicate that it is from my Jika group you have more icons so it has Play Store browser XBMC local media favorites my favorites and then settings then at the bottom you do have a little part that you can scroll side to side in order to go to more but for today you can see that all the information is here here's a little more thing they have added a little part called advanced tasks so this way if you're running anything in the background you want to kill it you can come here and you can just say kill apps and it will get rid of it another good thing that they have entered into this they have added mirrorcast and also if you go a little more they have the auto update so this way if you want to update it manually or you want to update it over the air it will be available in this another little good thing that they have entered is the MB settings the MB settings you can go in, you can set up your Wi-Fi and also you can change your display you can see that right now I did set it up under 1080p that's the highest this box can be set up and then at the bottom you can hide the bar and you want to fix your resolution you can do it here if you go under advanced, you have more information on how you can set it up so it can go through Miracast and also more settings. If you go under other, you do see that the model number is there. It does indicate that this box is running on 4.2.2 and also the build version is there and the kernel version is there. If there is any system update, you can click this. Also, it will take you back to the same location so you can do your box update. And if you go here, it will take you to regular settings so you can go through and bring up more information. Information. So if you go under about, all the information we were just reading is all here. All right, so let's just go and do some benchmark. In regards to benchmarks, first thing we go into test is the Antutu. When we launch it, it is the latest version of Antutu, the one I'm loading right now. It does take a little bit for it to come up. And yes, while I was doing the test, I did run it under 1080p and I got 14.512. But when I was running it under 720p, it was a little bit higher. But yes, it does give you a really good reading. 
speaking. You can see that the RAM on this is one gigabyte. You can see the CPU is there too. It is says multi trad Everything is running there. All right, so let's just get out of this. The next thing we will go is under CPU Z. Now CPU Z itself is pretty accurate. You can see that it does indicate it is ARM Cortex A9 and it is running under 1.5 gigahertz. And if you go under clock speed, you can see that right now it is running on dual core. The CPU is there and the GPU, it does indicate that this is Molly 400 MP. If you go under system, if you go all the way in the bottom, it does indicate that there is a root access. If we get out of this and now let's go into Linpack. Under multi trad itself, it is running really low. There you go. So I got about 62 for the first time running this. I put 68 for the second time. So it is running under 100, which is okay. It's not something bad. It's just that it is running a lot of things in the background, and that's why it's slowing down a little bit right now. But for the multi trad, it is running between 50 to 64 for me. It does not. There you go. I put 66 now. So I am sure that the MyGika Dove group is watching this and hopefully will fix it so that way we can get a higher number. The next thing we will be testing is the O itself. So this is the video that we have under stock and you can see the video itself is pretty nice and it is not going to stutter anyway. And you can see that it is pretty smooth and pretty nicely playing and you can see that it is 720p. Alright, let's just get out of this and we will just totally get out of XBMC. So now you can install your add-ons and take advantage of XBMC and you can update it to the latest version of XBMC. All right, so today I came out to do a little review on the MyGika ATV400 Midnight Black and I hope you guys like my video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xetext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Vine and other social networking places. And thank you.